<laughs> Hello. In this town. We don't... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see what we were doing. Uh, I love the energy in the up. studio today. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is all we got. Oh hey, my goodness. We are two people. Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very sleepy and already chaotic, um, spooky episode of Hellions of Karnak. Um, sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> that artwork. Yes. Hello. Welcome to my beautiful ghost. <laughs> <laughs> um, our our lovely DM has made us all I, costumes for the occasion. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Very <laughs> the last... cute. I had a lot oh, of fun, and now I'm tired. Um. So yeah, we're all we're all dressed up for her Halloween. Can't, um, I can't take as a ghost. It's so fucking funny. It's so good. <laughs> it's it's making me laugh every time my mouth opens. Um, I love so, that it's still midriff. <laughs> yeah, he still needed to be in a crop top. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, come on. Um. Yeah, so so welcome. Uh, and and Noodle is dressed up as Tink. I I need to point it out, just in case people don't notice, because it's my favorite thing. Um, but yes, hello, welcome. Uh, we are a D and D stream. In fact, we are a theater of the mind actual play uh D and D stream. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I. I had a very chaotic day coming in here. So uh, that's what I'm bringing to the intro. Uh, do we have any announcements? <laughs> oh, um, I, I I do not have any announcements. <laughs> okay. Do you want me? Shall I take over? <laughs> if, if you'd like to. Um... Okay. We didn't discuss this before going on air. We probably should have, but we did not. Does anybody in the group have any announcements before we head into the, the the intro intro? I am very small, I'm very tired, and I would like someone to give me something that is nice and toasty warm to drink. That's my me, announcement. Me too. Aww. I also would like that. <laughs> Guys, aww. So everything is going wrong right now, so I'm going to be probably slightly more unhinged than normal while we play. Um... So. That's strong. That's strong Halloween energy. I'd say. Should we tell the people watching at home that there's a spectacular marathon this week on the channel? We should. We should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are. We are Hellions of Karnak, and we're actually kicking off the spooktacular. I believe. I yeah. We are absolutely. Yeah. We are. It's Monday. We, yeah. We are Which means that uh, going it. critical. Yeah. Going Critical has one hell of a lineup of uh, spooky sessions for the season. Mm. Oh, uh, 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 that will make your spine shiver in fright. Um, seriously, though, you should go and check out the rest of the programming that's on the channel on the lead up to Halloween. For there are very interesting things. It will be, for us particularly, two episodes of spooky Spookum, sp spooky times. Fun. How many times can I say spooky in one intro? <laughs> Spooking, spookiness, um, and, spookies. And just to to add to that, because uh, I don't I don't know if, if you saw this part in the Discord, but um, I I just posted our command for Washi Station, so we have a a little promo code for twenty percent off we at the Washi do. Station. Um, but also, during all the guest streams this week, they will be raffling a um, $20, I believe, gift card to the Washi Station um, oh. during each of our guest streams. So They will indeed. Yeah. To encourage folks to come check out the, the cool people that we have joining us this week. And for those of you who aren't aware, Washi Station is a collective of exactly what it sounds like, Washi Tapes, designed and curated by artists. Some of whom you may know. Like Emily. 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 <laughs> did you just say, like, Emily, rest in peace? I did. <laughs> oh yeah. my goodness. Emily is alive. <laughs> Emily's in chat. <laughs> I swear. Um, <laughs> we, we've all got a case of the giggles today. I'm so sorry. It was the energy that I was bringing to setting up the Halloween-y stuff before we started playing. 
But some warnings before we start. This is a mature stream. I, the DM, swear a lot, and we also handle mature themes, such as, but not limited to, drug use, sexuality, and uh, minor body horror sometimes. Like, it's it's a lot. So you should minor be aware. As you think. I think it's minor, but the rest of the group does not. Mm. Um, <laughs> we also practice safe streaming on our end and encourage you guys at home to do the same. If you come across anything during our sessions that makes you uncomfortable, please don't feel obligated to stick out the scene or continue watching for the rest of the episode. If you need to take a step away, take a step away. Your safety is first and foremost among our wishes. Um, and if you would like to bring anything to our attention, we have a Discord where you can get in touch with us. Um, there should be a link in the chat in just a moment as a very noisy car goes by my window. How professional we are. I, I did it. I... Shut up! I pressed, <laughs> I pressed all the buttons. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for pressing all the buttons. You're welcome. We don't have a recap this week. Yeah. Pink so pride. that that will that will happen a little differently this week. And uh you may have noticed that we have a special guest. Yeah. Yeah. It's it me. It's it's, it's you. you. It's <laughs> you <and> me. <laughs> oh, hi. Claps. Clap, 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 clap. We are joined by Babs, if you would like to introduce yourself to our watchers. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Babs. Uh, I am glad to be back with Norlani here and excited to be part of the spooky cast. Um, hey. You can find me online at Mustache Babs. And do we, do we want to just kick off our... Well, I was going to say, and what are you dressed as, Babs? Oh, well, that would be very important. Uh, at Nolani is dressed as a snowy owl bear. So, uh, you know, cozy, cozy Halloween is her vibe. So. And our question for the week is, what would your, what would Nolani's Halloween candy be? Nolani's Halloween candy of choice would probably be, um, you know those vampire fang gummies? Yes. Those. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Hi, I'm Ned. <laughs> um, you can find that is at Ned Lazarus Wolf. Um, I play Monty, who is our rogue slash druid. Um, he is dressed up as a snake, um, and looks very cozy, and I'm, I'm actually very jealous of how cozy he looks. Um, uh, yeah, his favorite Halloween candy is probably gummy bears, like, the properly good Haribo ones. Yeah. Hi, I'm Danny. You can find me at Bosch Lane on Twitter. Yana is dressed up as a princess. A Western princess in a poofy dress. It's very so cute. cute. I'm dying. <laughs> um, very cute. And, God. Favorite candy. Uh, favorite candy for Halloween is probably going to be like candy corn because that's just like not a thing that exists at home. And it's just like, this sugar is different, and just shoving it in her face. <laughs> it's just corn syrup. It's just a new and interesting thing for this child. I love it. As a person who actually loves candy corn. <laughs> I <laughs> adore candy corn. It's so good. It's Why so do people good. hate on it so much? It's so good. I love it. It's so soft, too. So yeah. yeah. The pumpkins. The pumpkins are my favorite. Yes, the pumpkins. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, same texture as well. Yeah, it's yeah. Bigger. It's great. Good, good texture, more sugar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, everybody. I'm Dodger, and I'm playing Yuli. Uh, Yuli's dressed as a prince, and I'm gonna cry. It's so cute. <laughs> um, 
And uh, I, I, to be honest, like Yuli didn't, I don't think got to eat very much candy growing <laughs> up because that's the sort of parent she had. But um, uh, I think if it's okay, instead of doing favorite uh, Halloween candy, I think I'll do least favorite because her mom 100% would have stocked up on like those uh those like candy insects and left them all over the place to like scare her. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> she hates them. It's terrible. Oh. Lovely. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say that Yenna's was like candy, uh, like gummy worms or something. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yuli's like, yeah, I love them too. They're great. They're really good. And I'll just, I'll eat all of them. <laughs> God. Oh, and hello. Uh, I'm I'm Nick, who is formally doing a very chaotic introduction. Um, and I am playing Tink. Oh, I I'm at Nick Terhorst and at Nick Tattoos everywhere. Um, and I'm playing Tink. Uh, he is <laughs> dressed as a ghost, and his ferret is dressed as him. I love it. <laughs> um, he's a good boy who's never done anything wrong. And yeah, I think I think his favorite Halloween candy would also be my favorite Halloween candy, which are the the dumb little the ones that look like Halloween. You know, the ones that what? have the little the old candies that have like the little wrapper. They're like a molasses candy almost. And you like can't get them anymore because they were like kids are putting drugs in candy. Uh, and then they just stopped <laughs> making them. And they're just like these weird, gross little toffee things, and I really love them. <laughs> uh, Let's be completely honest here. Nick's candy choices are scary enough without Halloween influencing them. Oh, they so... are. I love, I love disgusting candy, Chad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all here for the Scandinavian salted licorice. So, oh, uh, I yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love I love black licorice. I'm not a huge fan of the salted stuff, though. I've tried it so many times. It just oh, doesn't yeah. vibe with me. No, I and... I mean, the powdered salt ones are the best ones, but the I I'll eat it all. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I never have to share. That's fair. That is one of the best things about liking something most people hate. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I have two other friends you'd have to share with. I, I mean, it's delightful when I do have to share, because then we have something in common. But yeah. That's me! Hello! Diana? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, have we lost our DM? Oh no! It was going so well. It was. Um, just Thank for chat. You. No, no, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, hey. hello, hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, was it the headset? Did it disconnect? It was the headset, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, just for chat, just in case it happens again, uh, RDM is having some connection issues with their headset, so... <laughs> we... Otherwise known as the wire has worn out and is currently held together with masking tape. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. That's great. That is that is again the scariest fact about the stream. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's Balthazar's favorite Halloween? Oh no. Okay. All right. <laughs> what is Balthazar's favorite Halloween candy? You know what? Balthazar's favorite Halloween candy isn't actually like Halloween candy. It's the um you know when you get toffee apples? Yeah, and like, no one really likes apples, but he'll pick the top the toffee off the outside of the apple quite happily. <laughs> wow, <a> fucking child! <laughs> really, <laughs> man. He especially likes the ones that have like little sprinkles on. Yes. No. Oh, how does he feel about the ones with um, with it that are ro rolled in the toasted coconut? See, he doesn't like coconut. Uh, I like that you just know this about him off the cuff. <laughs> I I really need a a meme esque picture of Balthazar <laughs> peeling <laughs> the, the caramel off of a caramel <laughs> apple to eat it and 
Calriel off to the side looking at him like he is unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Accurate. Calriel, the person who brought him the toffee apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this. Fantastic. But yeah, no, I am, I'm the DM. So to introduce myself, um, you can find me at Doodle uh, on Twitter. Just go, go there. You can find everywhere else from there. Um, and I do comics and stuff. And I also do this. So last session on Hellions of Karnak, we'd been dealing with the aftermath of what has become affectionately termed in all of our notes, a Nexus event where several time streams clashed into one another on the epicenter of the hospital wing. Finding out that Tink, in an alternate timeline, had caused the loops that have been plaguing you all, as time keeps resetting itself again and again. Taking last session to decompress from that information and try and put together some sort of plan You'd all headed to Balthazar's office after saying goodbye to Xanth. As your errant friend had headed back into town to try and undermine his brother's guilt. But in Balthazar's office, you'd sat around kind of explaining things to one another and trying to find answers. You've not quite started the full meeting yet, though. And it's as you all gather in the room that you have accosted, which is one of the laboratories that Tink works in. Monty, Yenna, Yuli, as you come upon the classroom, you realize that there are two other figures in the hallway that have followed you in. Are they? Before, before one of you can even get a word out, Bernard shuffles forward with a festive hat. I was like, before you start whatever meeting it is that you're attempting to do, I would like to just interject that we have some investigating to do. And he, he kind of stands there in a heroic pose, or what he thinks is a heroic pose, with his hands upon his hips and his hat cocked at a jaunty angle. And he kind of, after a second or two, motions for for the person next to him, Nolani, to try and make a pose and, and look impressive too. It's like, come on, you're, you're, letting, you're letting down the side, kid. And, and Nolani just sort of manages to poke from behind him um, and recognizes Monty and uh, and Yena and sort of like like waves. Uh, hi, hi again. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hey. I, I... Uh, oh, are you friends with him? Oh, uh, well. Yes. This is my we... friend. <laughs> My friend mm. Nolani. Okay. And and Nolani sort of like looking between him and you all and she's like well, we we met while I was looking for information about the school um since y'all ran off, you know, helping helping Sam and where is he anyway? Uh he's decided to take a leap of absence from the school. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, that was kind of crazy what happened, but yeah, so so I, I don't know. I was looking for answers, and, and Mr. Bernard here uh, helped me out to get some stuff. Um, she sort of, like, lifts the the pouch she, she's wearing cross-shoulder, um, and she's like, she's like, he got me some stuff, and uh, yeah, I've just been helping him out, but uh, I didn't know y'all knew each other. And I didn't know that you all knew my new assistant. Uh, oh, assistant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> assistant. Uh, uh, con uh, congratulations. Thank I, you. I don't know if I have enough credits for that, Mr. Bernard. 
You 100% do, and I'm saying that you do, kid. Let's get ready to hunt. Now, I know that all of you were involved in the Nexus event that went down a little while ago, and that something fishy has been going on in the hospital wing. Am I correct? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Tank is yeah, giving Bernard like... this look. <laughs> just like... <laughs> I mean, I mean, there there were lots of people outside of the hospital. I don't think it's really a secret that something happened there. Yeah, yeah. There's just like grimacing in the back. I'm like, ugh. It's time to put on our detective hats and figure out what's going on. You, you must have noticed that everything has kind of settled now in the aftermath, and the dust is thick upon the ground. We have to move before the clues are buried beneath it. And he strikes another. Part. Uh, Balthazar is here, right? Yeah. Balthazar is here and is decidedly saying nothing. (laughs) Do you have like, uh, like, like a tag in your like clothes or something that's like making you stand uncomfortably? You see, Bernard kind of just deflates a little bit. And then seems to book himself up and strikes yet another pose that tries to make him look at himself heroic and goes, No, this is just how heroes stand. Oh. I'm sure heroes don't stand like that, but um, whatever floats your boat. Listen, look. uh, No, yeah. uh, Bernard, I. um, I mean, it's it's, it's nice nice to see you. Um, And you, Tank. Yeah. You haven't been to the Ghost Club this season, Tink. And he's just like leaning forwards towards you. Tink's like squints his eyes at at Bernard and is like, it's been like two days. <laughs> and two most days of them is enough time. I've had a crisis during. I don't think you haven't been hosting. If you've been hosting Ghost Club, I think your priorities might be a bit out of whack. But what I'm trying to say is this isn't. This isn't some ghost club shit. This is this is very real. You know that, uh, above, right? Above board, how close is he to all of us? Oh, Bernard is like about three inches away from Tink's face at this point. <laughs> Can I... Uh, <laughs> might be a mistake, but I feel like he's distracted. Can I... Um, <laughs> because I... Uh, I... I think that there's a possibility he has a stone can i try uh-huh. to like pickpocket not to take anything but to see if i find a stone in his pockets oh yeah of course roll sleight of hand fantastic uh, where are you there you are ah! oh. uh dirty 20 With a Dunny 20, you manage to, you know, quite quite simply open one of the bags, one of the many bags that Bernard is carrying. He's always kitted out as though ready for ghost hunting adventures. And you you move aside a telescope, you move aside some strange <laughs> rock, you move aside like some worry machine. And at the bottom of the bag, your fingers brush what is quite clearly a smooth round stone. The same size and shape as the one that you own. I will um, use message and message Tink and say he's got a stone. Can I... If if Yuli's messaged me and Bernard is three inches away from my face, (laughs) can Tink just shove his hand into the bag and pull it out? (laughs) (laughs) Um, roll decks okay. to see whether or not Bernard can stop you before you can do that. Yeah, he's not trying to be subtle. Oh, I, oh, I, I rolled nicely. One sec. What's my decks? It's a nineteen <laughs> total. Uh, Bernard rolled a five. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> it takes you a second of digging, in which Bernard just looks kind of startled and betrayed before you come back with. Uh... A stone. A small round stone the size of a small orange. 
what what kind of stone is it? I was gonna ask too. What kind of stone <laughs> is it? You are looking at a smooth round stone of coming tonight. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. What does that even look? What color is it's that? Not, what does it not look nice. like? <laughs> It's not a cute stone. It it looks kind of gross. Stone. It's it's more like a mineral, and it doesn't ever really go smooth, smooth. So there is obviously something on the outside of this stone, um, but the inside favorite. of it, yeah, on on the inside of it, it's almost as though you can see the fibers of it. Okay. It's like dark greens and slate grays and. It's all compressed together, like it looks like fossilized fur, essentially. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think Tig like looks at it and kind of makes a face and like puts it down on the table, but like doesn't take his hand <clears throat> off of it, like hand on rock. So if he were to try and take it, you know, there'd be a bit of a fight. Um, excuse you. That that's mine. That that belongs in my bag. Give it, give it back. Give give it, give, give it back. Give it back. Give, no, Lonnie. Yes. <laughs> can can you get my stone, please? Oh oh um, I mean, did you did you ask nicely, um, Mister? <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> I, Bernard. I not yours, Mr. Bernard. She's never. She has a met oh, Tink. This is fair. Yeah, I think. I think Nolani and Tink spent like thirty seconds around each other before. Uh, ah, uh, Tink. It's uh, it. It's nice to meet you. And I think he like has a minute, and then finally just chooses to to shake with his right hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And she she shakes. She shakes uh, Tink's hand. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Noelani. Uh, I've met uh, some of your companions, uh, Yana and Monty specifically. But uh, yeah, I mean, if if it is part of M Mr. Bernard's work, I I'd say, I, I mean, is it of importance to your investigation? Is it something that we could help each other out? I feel like Mr. Bernard, I mean, he's he kitted me up. And, and if he's got useful stuff that we can help each other out, then maybe this is just a... A very uh, serendipitous meeting for all of us. Yeah, I, I, I think you might be right. I, I would love to hear from uh, Miss Mr. Bernard. He like looks at Bernard <laughs> dead in the face uh, ab about why uh, I had to figure this out for myself, and I, uh, I, I wasn't told about it before. I'd love to know. And above table is the is does the stone look like the one that Bernard gave me or the one that I found? No. Okay. Um, the stone that you are in possession of, Nolani, is mm -hmm. uh, a a fair bit larger than that. Okay. And the and the sending stones not doesn't look like part of the kit. No. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, so so she she just sort of looks at the stones like, I mean he he gave me a different one, but uh yeah what what uh, which what is that one Bernard, Mister Bernard. You don't have to call him Mister like that's oh you yeah you yeah, yeah you know you 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 really don't. Oh. Oh, okay. He he seemed kind of important. I don't know. I mean, I was in the library <laughs> looking for information. Um... <laughs> yeah, to Tink Tink oh. also laughs. I feel like I am being derided. You are. You call me yeah. Mr. Bernard. If she wants to call me Mr. Bernard, I am Bernard Plim, a renowned cryptozoologist. And he's got a book with his name on it. That's is it the is I that do. Not a book here? He shoves a book towards Tink. <laughs> Tink's like, is it self published? <laughs> like... I was gonna say, wow, vanity press, very impressive. Tink, the book is totally self published. <laughs> <laughs> it's by Plim Publishing. Amazing. Mm, 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 uh, mm. Look, <laughs> I re realize that you are deriding me and stepping on me and, and raining predominantly upon my parade, but 
I know a darn sight more than you do about what's going on in the school. You'll be sorry if you I don't mean, I, follow I, me. That, well, no, I, I would like to know what, what the fuck you want us to do. <laughs> you can't just Look, come in here and make demands. I can totally just come in here and make demands. The door was open. No, it, it, the, the door was barely opened. I opened it so they could get in, not you. Well, I'm here now, and you've got to deal with it. I'm your problem. You want me to teleport him outside? I can do that. <laughs> I can no, look. no, 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 no. Look, look. Um, obviously, we all have things that we should um discuss with one another. This should be exciting, right? That that somebody else has one of these. <laughs> She's like trying to figure out whether or not this is something she should talk about in front of Nalani. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it takes Fair. kind of on the Fair. same page. <laughs> uh, I really, I'm curious as to how you got a stone. Like, where did where did you get that? What do you mean? Where did I get it? Did you? Were you born with it? <laughs> I got it the same place I imagine you guys got it. I woke up with it, and it was on my pillow one day. I'm not a fool. I know what's going on in this school, and I have been investigating, and it's about time that you started cluing me in on what you are doing. That was a lot maybe of back me. and forth, but I, it stands. And maybe me, honestly. I've only been here a couple of weeks, but uh, I'd, I'd love to know more. I mean, I feel like I already touched that one orb, so if there's going to be more weird stones, count me in. What orb? I mean, there's, there's always weird stones. There's a lot of yeah. weird stones. Look, are you coming to the the the, ho the, the, the hospital wing, or are you just gonna stay here and 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 make fun of me? And he starts towards the door. No, no, no okay, we're okay, Bernard, 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 Bernard. We're gonna make fun of you. Or we're not not coming. How about here? Let's start again, where you don't barge into the room making theatrical demands, and we don't have to sit and make fun of you in response um how about do you tell us what you want us to know roll persuasion uh, it's a uh, 15 he narrows his eyes and he shuffles for a step and then shoves his hands in his pockets and just saunters back towards you and goes fine fine let's go over this then you should all come and investigate with me because i know i know that you have information that i do not and i need it things have been disappearing in that hospital wing all summer and i think the next event that happened has triggered a chain reaction um uh, can i because it's obviously different from us. Uh, when do when do when do you um? She like she her eyes will sort of dart around like she's trying to figure out how to talk around this and be like, when do you, when do you typically um? Uh, wake up. Wake up. I've been awake <laughs> for the past ten years. Ten years. Why you? <laughs> take, take instantly <laughs> offended. <laughs> As someone who has also been here for 10 years. <laughs> Wait, is Bernard even at the school 10 years ago? Roll history. Oh my god. Oh, I rolled so shitty. It's 11. That's okay. Yeah, no, all you had to do was get above a 10. Bernard has definitely been at the school for 10 years. Bernard <laughs> is the only other student who has been... Yeah. At the school as long as you have. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we're we're the two. We're the. That's why we know each other. We're the two fuck ups. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you also know that Bernard refuses to graduate until uh, he is taken on as the professor of cryptozoology. Like unless the school God. offers him that, he refuses to leave. Oh, oh my God! I God. love this man. So this man. <laughs> You guys, you guys don't even know the half of it. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So, 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 I mean, 
that's really valuable, isn't it? Like, like no, it, it, it it's extremely valuable. I just want to know why why him. <laughs> like, Dick looks like I'm right here. <laughs> I, 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 uh, look, surely you've noticed that there are sections of the hospital wing that don't seem to make sense. They jut out at strange angles. They appear as though they're from different times, as though one building has been slapped onto another. Um, you can hear from it? the back of the room, Balthazar just mutters, that's usually how buildings work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yana's gonna be like, have you actually been inside? Once or twice, when I've scraped my knee or sustained a battle wound. <laughs> Not, like, investigatively. Admittedly, investigatively, I have been a little bit strapped for uh, a backup. Uh-huh. You see, he's oh, wearing, like, a little tie, and he just tries to, like, tighten it up a little bit and, and try and look proud. So, yeah. so why, why, do you know, why do you know what it's like in, in there, then? In, in regards to... <sighs> Because it wouldn't... Uh, <laughs> have you been in there when it seems like things have, have changed, like while you've been in there? Things have changed in there year to year. I have interviewed many a cleric. In fact, Tinkus Delinkus. That, that is not... What? We, we don't do that. <laughs> Ariel Doppelon. <laughs> Okay, wow, all right. <laughs> Tinkwa! Mm hmm? Your very husband has told me things. Husband? Think you're Hus married? Husband? <laughs> what? Tink, Tink doesn't, like, does his best. Wait. <laughs> Let me, I'm I'm a roll a deception on how not shocked Tink looks at that. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the dice know. The dice know. All yeah, of us yeah. just looking at Tink yeah, all waiting of you looking for a at, response. Yeah, looking at Tink and Tink just looking at Bernard. <laughs> I have had many a conversation with Belial about the strange things that occur on the night. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Why, do, why, why, do, why do you have to say it like that? Why, do you, why are you talking like this? You really need to learn Thou Returgy, my guy. Okay, no, you know what, let's, yeah, no, no, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going. Are you uh, happy? Uh, We're going. Okay. I am incredibly happy. Come with me. And he grabs Tink's wrist, and he reaches out and grabs Yuli's wrist. Oh, okay, And he's just okay. going to drag you guys down the hall because he figures that Monty and Yenna will probably follow. Absolutely. Yenna's going to look to Balthazar. It's like, do we have to do this? You see Balthazar is kind of shuffled behind the desk that is in every single one of the labs and is like, oh no, I'm not coming with you. You can enjoy this on your own. Do I have to do this? This isn't my Halloween episode. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> the DM can't have that many characters come with me. Yeah. Or I'll just be talking Do to I myself look like I want to be talking to myself this whole session? <laughs> You know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he can, it's true. <laughs> he can stay. He can stay. It's fine. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> we'll reluctantly follow. It's like, well, and uh, no, Lani, who's... hold on the sending stones if you need anything. Are Bye. you gonna show up if we do? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, he's showing up. What was that? Oh. You know he's not showing up. Oh no, never. Oh. I will say that you've left um the rock that belongs to Bernard just on the table, so he's totally gonna have a look at that. Um Oh beautiful, yeah. Fine. <laughs> Nolani, are you going with everybody else? 
Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll walk with Monty and Yena and sort of like try to get from them. Like, where have you guys been? Like, I tried to learn some more about, you know, what's going on. Did you, did you find your friend? You said, was it, yeah. was it Tink or? Yeah, it was Tink. We found him. As you can see, he's fine. He's fine. And Yena I'm... is just like staring at where like. Bernard is holding Yuli's like wrist or whatever. It's just like, what can I do about that? <laughs> I don't. <die. laughs> uh, sorry. Um, but you got better. I mean, I feel like you got better. You look I, I better. I better. I, I Good. did get better. Good. Is this it... happens a lot around this school. It happens a lot with me. Oh, well, you should avoid that. I feel like that's not good for you in general. It feels like a lot of things in this school is maybe are maybe not good for any of us. I, I'm not entirely sure, you know, like I've been sort of being caught up with Bernard. Um, it just sounds like there's a lot happening. And I came from the Feywild, so that that's saying something. I mean, this school is really fucked up. Like I really I I don't I don't think it's it really should be accredited. Like there really, really needs to be some sort of independent like review. It was <laughs> fine for two years and this year has just been really weird. Well oh. I mean I mean it, it was fine, but it wasn't like fine, fine. Like any 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 school with, you know, acceptable well, losses, I think for is a like... hundred what? years the school has been plagued with ghosts and golds. Goose? And ghosty ghosts. The the goose who are ghosts. They're ghosts. 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 Bernard runs ghosts. the ghost club. <laughs> oh. Things like just over. There have shoulder. been many a shadow that has fallen across this land and plunged it into darkness. He he, he like... reports for the for the school paper on ghost uh -huh. shit. Uh. What a derision of my work ghost shit it is more than mere ghost shit it is ghost gold shit mm. okay what? okay i mean it certainly looks like it keeps him busy um but yeah he God. gave me all this stuff but um i should probably and she's sort of still talking like talking to monty and yena like in the back of the group um and she'll sort of like open her her bag and it's got a kit of stuff that Bernard gave her. Um, it's got like a book, you see, and there's a bell and like a rock that's a stone <laughs> that's unrelated to our stone issues. But there's also a round dark orb. It's just like I found this. Um and I just I just figured since since I saw that other orb with you guys, I wasn't sure if you were if you were aware of this this one. Does this um... look familiar? Yeah, Yana's gonna look at that and be like, is this a rock that we should be worried about? What do you want me to roll for that? What What is... If I can what see it this? over my shoulder as Bernard drags us off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> roll... Ooh. Arcana? Arcana. Okay. Good. I like that. God damn. Uh, uh, 22. Oh, I got 14. Take okay. it away. Well, Yana, <laughs> what would you like to know? Um, does this seem like our orbs and things? Does this look like our rock? It, enough to be like, hey, if I pick this up, am I gonna get a vibe off it? Like, she'll probably mage hand it to be I honest. can tell you immediately that it does not appear like any of your rocks. It is larger. No. And to, I'm gonna default to fruit descriptions again, and you're okay. all gonna laugh at me, and it's gonna be a thing. So let's just get it out of the way. It's about the size of a melon. Yeah, big rock. What kind? Okay, oh, okay. okay. I was like, big. melons are are very different sizes. Yeah, yeah. No, about the size of a honeydew melon. Can um, I even make hand that? Is it more than five pounds? Ten pounds? It's more than five pounds. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's hefty. Okay. What? Uh, um, it also seems to be made of endless black, but when you look at it this way, <laughs> it seems to shimmer just slightly as though there's glitter beneath it. Uh, can I, can I pick it up? 
And she's oh, asking the and, money. And, and she'll be like, oh, you, you don't even have to do that. Look. And she'll touch it and make it float. Oh. Uh, Roll perception, all of you who are looking at the orb. All those of you pondering the orb. I do not know if I wish to ponder the orb. <laughs> I kind of would, but it's only going to roll a three. Uh, is perception? Yeah. Yes. And do I do I roll? Um, is is it is it my orb to percept too, or have I percepted it? You, you can enough? indeed percept upon the orb if you okay. wish to percept upon the orb. Yeah, it's, it's I got my an orb. eighteen. I got a four because they're all in that one. Oh no! <laughs> it's a nineteen. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. Okay. So, Monty, Yana, mm -hmm. the orb is an orb, and it's very glittery and very shiny, and you feel quite comforted as you look at it, as though nothing in the world could go wrong. Tink? I like this orb. Nolani? As you look upon the orb, you hear a delicate humming noise that seems to be underlaying the way it moves in the air. And then the longer you look at it, the more the shimmers that you've been seeing that look like glitter, you can make out tiny galaxies spinning in place. Roll a wisdom save. Oh, oh fuck. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Told Glad you I, I don't know up. if I wish to ponder the orb. <laughs> that's a four. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's a, wait for it, uh, 11 for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Yana, Monty, what did you guys roll? Oh, we have to roll as well. Great. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Nice. So so does so does Denard, so you're not alone in this. Oh, that's a hot nine. As wisdom mm -hmm. save. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Am I rolling a thing? Sorry, I just got back. Yes, please roll a wisdom save. Oh nice! We okay. were <laughs> we were accidentally pondering an orb. I, I rolled oh. nineteen. Okay. Wisdom save. Oh, I'm not bad at the oh my god. <laughs> 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 is it a one? <laughs> we roll, we roll. It was a one. No, it was a two. No, that the is true curse. It's a big fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so as you look upon the orb and you lean closer and closer, and all of you, Bar Monty, can feel yourselves tilt forward and then suddenly. It's as though the world upends itself. The floor is out from beneath your feet and you are falling headfirst into darkness. Oh, God. Monty, you see as your friend's eyes just go blank and they fall to the ground, leaving this orb floating midair. Bernard is down. Tink is down. Julie is down. Everybody. You are the only person left aware. Well, fuck. Um, so I'm going to, uh, um, like, kneel down and, like, shake Tink's shoulder. And just, like, try to see if, if Tink can wake up. Nothing happens. He rocks with the motion of it, but doesn't wake. Um, I'm going to take my 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 stone and just try and uh, uh, take my rock and put it near the orb and see if anything happens. The moment that you try and place the rock next to the orb. Lots of different names for just a round thing in this game. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> you notice that the rock as you hold it starts to hum at the same pitch 
as the mysterious orb. And of so course, I have you to get the higher it vibrates. Okay. Um, can I, since I'm I'm now the only person left, can I ponder the orb again? You you can indeed ponder the orb again. Okay. Would so you like was... to roll perception? I would love to roll perception. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. I just need to do math real quick. All right, that's another 19. A 19 perception <laughs> has you finally seeing the spinning galaxies among the stars. And the closer you look, the more you can make out the different details and the individual spirals and a universe inside what appears to be glass. Roll a wisdom save. It's a 22. <laughs> With a 22, you can look closer if you would like to. Yeah, I want to look closer. Roll another perception. Uh, that is a 13. The closer you look, it's almost as though the orb itself moves to try and help you with the perception of what's going on inside of it. And in all of that dead space between the galaxies, you see four bright new lights just drifting in nowhere space. A roll of wisdom save. 18. Monty's too good for this. I, I, apparently, the idea that the DM's just like, just get in here. <laughs> and Monty's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to give him as much information as I can. You can roll either a perception or an arcana if you would like to, Monty. Or you uh, can do whatever you would like to do with the orb. You don't have to keep looking at it. No, I'm going to roll an arcana. Okay. That's a five. <laughs> It is an orb. It floats. There is definitely some sort of magic that's going on here. And you can probably figure out that it has cast some sort of spell upon your friends. But you don't know what spell. You don't know what it's doing. Roll a wisdom save. Uh, that's a 12. Well done. You fall into the orb. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to know that wisdom save is getting progressively harder every time you looked into the orb. <laughs> you just roll too damn well on your wisdom saves. Yeah. Yeah. Wise, Wise boy. You feel yourself tilting forwards and the ground moves from beneath your feet and you are swallowed by darkness. Now, for some of you, being engulfed in darkness and swallowed in space and watching stars float by as though they're close enough to touch like fireflies is a very familiar experience. Not long ago, two loops passed perhaps, you were having recurrent dreams, waking up in a space that was infinite and dark and spread out before you, much like this one. And as you all fall through space you feel whatever comfort the orb had afforded you only grows the longer you fall until you feel yourself turning upright and your feet hits invisible ground do, do we in land in front of you in front of you is an archway made out of white stone Where my baby at? <laughs> Where really? You have all landed together, bar Monty, who lands a couple of seconds after you guys. Um, 
<laughs> Tink is going to grab Bernard by the collar and be like, Bernard, what the fuck was that? Oh, that wasn't him. That was me. Sorry. I, I didn't know that dad. Um, it, it didn't do that when I found it. I hadn't shown it to him. I, I was still waiting to see what his vibe was about. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> take a let, <laughs> take a let Bernard go. <laughs> Bernard just writes himself and kind of dusts off his lapels and goes, well, um, as you should, um, everybody at ease. I am sure that we can figure out something. And he sets his hat to a jaunty angle again as though writing it because Tink Shaking had like set it askew. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or Although, less askew, not as the, it were. Not the rightest kind of askew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> An incorrect askew. Um, it's, uh, do, do, does this archway look a little familiar? <laughs> a roller story track. Oh. Just... We all roll history. Everybody can if you would like to. Yeah. Uh, history. History. 24. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, your rolls today, dude. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, no, not me. <laughs> no, I said the cat. <laughs> Noelani truly just got here <laughs> with a seven. Oh my God, Noelani. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, nine. God. Same page. Yeah. Head empty. <laughs> no thoughts. Monty with a 24. Mm-hmm. You recognize this archway as one that has appeared in your dreams several times. And through it, you had seen exactly what you had wanted in your life. You had seen the greenhouse at Zinnia's. That place of comfort and solace. Ayanna. Mm -hmm. You look at the archway and you're like yeah we've seen this in a dream cool cool story whatever why are the carvings on this archway so familiar (laughs) oh good and immediately begin to note that the sigils and the artwork that seems to wrap around the archway almost lovingly um depict a very familiar story Uh one that you have attended the opera of Okay, so we're seeing that again. You are once again seeing the four heroes and the darkness. Except where the opera ended, the carvings on the archway extend down towards the ground and into nothingness and show a world falling apart brick by brick into ether. And from it seems to rise a god. Oh. Not ideal. Um, Is there anything identifying about the four individuals in these carvings? Like, I don't know how detailed this is. To Roll perception. Or investigation, because you are looking for something specific. Oh, thank god. I'd love an investigation. Uh, 24. 24. Lovely, lovely. Do you get a little closer to look at them? Or are you staying where you are? Uh, yeah, she would get closer, like, slowly because she's like, I don't necessarily trust a door that I don't understand what it is and portals are portals bad right now. Not a fan. As you step closer towards the archway, Mm -hmm. the carved relief comes into more and more detail and while two of the figures are unrecognizable one of them does look quite familiar one of them looks very much like the younger version of a man that you had met As one of your father's friends. Okay. A man who had received accolades for his writing and his ability in war. Yeah. That's just going to start cursing in in her native language. What? What? Are you okay? I I needed... uh, Maybe? Uh... 
you know, we'll kind of like recount the story of like the opera and how it's about like these four heroes and like how darkness is trying to encompass the world and all of that. And the opera ends on a better note. And the opera is written by one of her father's friends. And she will point out the figure. And it's like, that looks like my dad's friend. Do, do uh, I recognize it? <laughs> Thanks, roll history. If only I rolled better. Don't worry <laughs> about it. It's an 11. No, you don't recognize this person. You've never met them in your life. Man. <laughs> Can I do an investigation to, or like another role to look closer at the, um, at the carvings that Yemma's pointed out? If you would like to, yes. Go right ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is a dirty 20 for my investigation. Nice. In looking at the carvings that are all over this archway, you notice that while Yenna has recognized one of the figures on one side, the side that you look at particularly deals with the darkness as a Mm -hmm. figure, as a character, as a recurring theme. And that the silhouette of this darkness that is portrayed just as an absence of anything is also very familiar. Mainly because you saw it looming over you beneath the house on the hill. It looks like the outline of a Mercury dragon. On top of that, you look at the buildings of the carvings and given that you had a great view once of a city in another dimension Mm -hmm. these buildings look like Babel the world that you keep visiting that is not part of your own, the world through the mirror I would like everybody looking at this archway to roll perception though for a second Wish. Wish I could roll. <laughs> Got a nat one, baby. Oh my god. Perception? Uh, yeah. Perception. 12. 17. 13. 19 for Nolani. Tink, Nolani, as everybody else is trying to figure out this archway, um, you see that while the archway had been empty before, there, it's definitely not empty now. There is like what appears to be a figure standing in the archway. It's just a silhouette of a person, which is almost more unnerving than it would be if it was a, an actual fully formed figure. Um, especially because their eyes just appear to be cutouts. Like when you draw a silhouette on paper and you yeah. cut around the outside of it. Um. As a really, as a really quick thing, if Tink's close mm-hmm. enough to like the side of the arch, can he like look kind of behind the arch as if like, is it only when I look through it, or? It is only when you look through it. When you look sideways at the arch, there is nothing there. Yeah. Uh, uh, got guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello. And and Nolani is sort of like addressing the figure, not stepping forward towards it, just kind of like, hello? There is no you... answer in voice. The moment, Monty, you start to talk, it's almost as though the figure in the archway jumps and gets scared. Its motion's over exaggerated, and then it runs out of frame. Roll perception, all of you, if you would like to. 22. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, Monty, you are rolling on fire um, tonight. I'm I mean, at least scream. <laughs> I know, I was like, at least one yeah. of us is. Holy shit. I'm not even going to bother writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> was it a two again? No, it was a one at first, and I was like, all oh, right, no. all right, all right, it's out of my system, and then I rolled and it was a three, so you know what? <laughs> I'm not, I'm I'm so preoccupied with Yenna and whether or not Yenna's okay, I'm not even bothering. <laughs> I'm not even bothering to look at anything else. 
Yenna, Monty, while mm-hmm. you had been taken up with your investigation of the archways, when you look up to see where Tink and uh, and Nolani are pointing, you see an infinite maze of archways laid out before you. And that is where we are going to take a very small break. I encourage those of you watching at home to get up, grab a drink, stretch a little bit. We'll be back in ten minutes. Oh. Hello. We do the mash. <laughs> we, do, we do the monster mash. <laughs> Wait, it's impossible to do a, a sing along on Discord. <laughs> it is impossible. We all lag way too much. Yeah. Welcome back. It is part two of Hellions of Karnak. Or as it is this week, Halloween's of Karnak. Yes. That's the best fucking title I have ever, ever seen. Um, <laughs> a welcome, if you were with us in part one. Hi again. If you've joined us in part two, hello. Um, we left off with the Hellions having fallen into a mysterious orb, brought before their notice by Nolani, oh. our guest player. And they fell into an infinite sea of stars to find a mysterious archway with a strange story that at least one of their number keeps hearing it will not go away and keeps coming up for some reason what well, i want to talk possibly about be asshole. the dm <laughs> the dm just the being last... like this is important <laughs> yeah well the last time i tried to talk to anybody from home i found an idiot you did you did find and then an i idiot. had to leave immediately true. oh yeah Remember that, the good old days? <laughs> the good old days when all you had to worry about was that. <laughs> Where'd that idiot go? Did he come with us? I guess not. He was no. he was invited and then he didn't come. <gasps> I can't believe this. Terrible. Uh, maybe the DM just didn't want to voice like three people in an episode. <laughs> I mean, no. boo. <laughs> no. Boo, I but I'll play it. I understand. I'm looking, on looking through the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Moving um, right along. I'm um, looking, looking through, through the archway. <laughs> you had discovered a strange silhouette of a figure that seemed to be two-dimensional. You could only see it looking through the archway, not from the side. And as it ran, it left behind it a series of strange archways in a maze before you. Tank's sweating like he's gonna die if he doesn't go through the door. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, is this... Should we follow it? I mean, this place doesn't look like it's gonna let us out the way we came in. Sorry, oh. y'all. Wait, follow yeah, what? Where, where, where did you find that orb thing? On, Ball. on the floor? Honestly, I was on the way to the library after I met Monty and Yenna and, and Santh, and after there was a weird standoff 
uh, at the gates, and then when we parted ways, um, I, I just. I just found it on the floor, which, in hindsight, perhaps is maybe not the way that people should grab things. But I, I figured, you know, Santa had been holding this, like, orb thing, so I just figured it might be useful, so I took it. I, you know what? I I don't find this entirely unreasonable. <laughs> It's Thank probably, you. It's we, probably a good instinct, if anything. If we saw a weird orb on the ground, we would absolutely yeah, we, we grab it and put it. Oh, yeah. okay, good, good. I'm glad. I'm. I'm. Then I'm glad that I showed it to you guys. I mean, I, I feel kind of bad that now we're here, which we're not entirely sure what here is, but I, I'm not I figured... gonna lie. With how our life has been going, we probably were gonna end up here at some point, regardless. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This feels about right. <sighs> okay. So did you make how... this? Huh? Did you make this too? I. I don't. I don't. Know. Okay. I have to ask now. I thought I'm. I'm not even gonna know if I did. I. I didn't know I made the other yeah. stuff. Okay. <laughs> He's okay. like sweating, looking over his shoulder at Bernard. Like... <laughs> Bernard is watching all of this very interestedly with bright <sighs> eyes, just like, you know what's going on. You're going to find out what's going on, and then you're going to tell me what's going on, <laughs> and then I'll know what's going on. I've never wanted modify better anymore. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most fucked up spells. Yeah, truly, yeah, just a bad truly. spell. <laughs> bad spell should not exist. Please give it to Yenna. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> bad spell shouldn't exist, should be Yenna's, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, really <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> Horrible idea. I need you all to roll perception. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Bruh, indeed. I Bruh. give up. I fucking <laughs> give up today. I'm not rolling dice anymore. Can, can, you know, people just you know what? The points. dice aren't rolling for you. <laughs> Dude, she forgot to roll a vibe check for the session. God, you're so right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll you know what? Right. Do it. Do it. Right do, now. it. do it. Do it. Four. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, no, that's it's, it's right. Okay. That's about right. Can't save it. <laughs> two. Two. Do you not have a bonus? Oh right, it would have been a three. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you can't roll a one. So, so what's a two? <laughs> Monty, is that 18 your current role? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, thank God. And Nolani, the 19 is yours. That's right. Fantastic. So, Tink, Yenna, Yuli, you're all too wrapped up in thinking exactly how much you need Modify Memory as a spell in order to wipe... Uh, Bernard's mind because he's looking a little too interested in everything that is going well, one on. One of those right like now. weird mean girls memes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but Nolani, Monty, mm -hmm. you notice first off that there is strange music coming from somewhere through the archway. That it's soft and nostalgic in a way you don't quite understand but appeals to you a little bit folksy a little bit unsettling Gee. and no Lani will turn to Monty do you, do you hear that? yeah um, I, I, mean, I guess obviously you do too Should I want to see what's making that sound yeah, and yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to walk closer to the archway and peek my head through wait, the wait, archway. Wait, 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 oh. wait. I feel like <laughs> I got you here. No, no, I, I want a dex. I want a dex. <laughs> Contest the dex. Let's do this. Tink looks at Monty like, are we going, are we going through? <laughs> Is dex save or, or check? Dex check. I just want you guys to play rollies with dex. Rollies, rollies, rollies. 
All right. You manage to just stop Monty <laughs> from putting his head through the archway. Yeah, and I'm like, and, and Nani doesn't have much, much as a smarter choice, but she's essentially like, wait, 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 I, I got you guys here. I, let me go through in case it's a trap or something. That's what I hear, and it sounds like you all get up to all sorts of hijinks all the time, so... And also, you just died, dude. So, I, I don't want you to do that again. I don't know how often you've done it. I don't want to know. I feel like somebody's death is maybe something very personal. But it, it, I could not live that down on my consciousness. So, so I, I can go first. No uh, Wait a second. I, I don't know that I no, want no. you to No, no. I'm going to check for traps. <laughs> Yeah, do it. <laughs> you never do. Yeah, I know. You you could check for traps. I'm checking for traps. Can I also check for traps? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Rogues, rogues being rogues. Rogues, 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 rogues. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, is this like you. thieves tools or what are we? How do we check for that actually? Investigation plus your thieves tools bonus. Or at least that's how I like to do it. Oh my god, want... yes, yes, yes! Okay. I would like everyone um... at home watching to know that the cat has taken up residence on my keyboard again, so ah, good. I may get banned from Twitch again. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes! It was uh, a bad joke. What, oh, what is the What's the like thing to add to thieves thieves tools? Because I'm feeling very silly. Uh, uh, your proficiency. What is my proficiency? That is the question. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what my prof the proficiency, proficiency is... bonus is at the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. plus three. I think all of us should have plus three. Yeah. It should be. Yeah, they're yeah. about. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is now I just have to math again. <laughs> Nine plus. Eight is seventeen plus three, dirty twenty. Hi. Mm. Between you both, Monty, you managed to check that there is nothing um, on the outside of the archway. There are no traps. There is, however. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> there oh, is, however, <laughs> a thieves' cant marking mm, carved just, onto the yeah. stone. Can I can I read that yeah. marking? You recognize the symbols as the symbols for gold and mercury. I see. <laughs> Yuli. Yeah. You notice something a little different. You look for traps. And whilst you don't find any traps, because the archway is not trapped, you do notice that it is definitely magical, and there are sigils inscribed all along the inside of the archway that describe um, a sort of teleportation spell. Um, I think Yuli will sort of like <laughs> flap her hand at Yenna, like like to come over. Oh, okay. And she'll come over. Is this? I think this is. Is this a spell? She'll point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you would like to roll Arcana. Can, can, can oh, I also roll I... Arcana? Can I just be a nosy bitch? And indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Tink just 20. watching. <laughs> ah, 22. 22. Yeah. Uh, between the two of us, like, Arcana checks should work every time. I I know it should. It should. <laughs> Does it? No. No. <laughs> we 
the Some good. We're just real dumb. <laughs> Today we're smart. We've got the brain cells. Today, today you are smart. Um, I'm so proud. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You wouldn't have noticed this if you'd have rolled anything under a 20. I will say that. Nice. Um, but you see oh. a carving of what looks to be... Um, the description for a teleportation spell that involves... Um, the same sort of dimensional binding that something like Dimension Door or um, Magnificent Manor would mm. would have. Okay. You also notice um, that this spell is signed. Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, some spellcasters sign their work. And this one is signed with a small pictogram of what appears to be what appears to be a give me two seconds what are you, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, what are you doing <laughs> get down go on there you go i will love you later <laughs> no. no love me now <laughs> you want to love now Always and only. It is signed with what appears to be a man who has two serpents for legs. What the fuck? <laughs> Pardon? So in one what? hand he holds a shield, and in the other hand he holds a whip. One and of the then... animals is a is a snake, right? Yeah. One one of one of our animals. <laughs> Gestures. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and he just got snake legs. Yeah, snake legs. This is a very uh, detailed what? little pictogram. <laughs> yes, it is. Right? Also, what? Yeah. It also, like, the, the piece of the archway that it is inscribed on is made of a different material to the rest of the archway. Oh. And can I investigate that material? Yeah, go for it. That is a 25. It appears to be inscribed on um, diamond. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So don't go through. Noelani asks out loud. She's just like been standing in front of the archway, like not <laughs> stepping through or anything. Yena is. Can you look up and around just to see if there's any? semblance of an exit that isn't this doorway. I'm sorry, I missed part of that. What did you say? Uh, can, can I look around and just see if there's, like, literally anywhere else to theoretically go besides this doorway? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Not that I won't make you roll for it. There is nowhere else. Okay, cool. Just, there is just know, an just... endless sea of stars and the invisible floor. And if you look down, you actually get like a little bit of vertigo because it definitely looks as though you are walking on nothing. Ooh. Cool. Hate that. <laughs> um, look, I'm not scared of heights. I'm scared of falling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I mean, given that, it's like, well, I mean, if we don't think it's trapped and we have no other way to go, I guess we go. The The instant... Uh, the instant that someone has been like, we should go through the door, Tink is, is through the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ani will follow Tink. <laughs> no, he's following the both of them. I was gonna say, you, you can wait and see if anything happens. It's not like I disappear, no. I don't think. But You don't know that. I, I yeah. don't know that. Yeah, it's just waiting to see if her friends get fried, I guess. <laughs> Uh, oh, Yuli, as always, will wait to see what Yana does. <laughs> <laughs> as those of you who are so inclined step through the doorway, it feels like walking through a cold puddle. It washes over you and leaves behind the strange aftertaste of old magic. And as you come out on them? the other side, you hear... The whisper of grass, the sound of wheat in the wind, 
It's dark. There's a scent of fire on the air. And what stretches beyond are plains of fields. You can see in the distance a farmhouse and several outbuildings lit up with simple lights. From which there seems to be the soft strains of music floating towards you. So... <clears throat> Um, Anyone left behind, you just saw your friends disappear. Okay, so we don't see them. <laughs> okay. No, they disappear. It's it's um, almost as though the doorway just swallows them. Uh. Lily will uh, take out the rock. Does the rock still work? She'll say, are you guys, can you hear me? Are you okay? Oh, sounding so? Rocky talkie. Yeah. yeah. The rocky talkie. I'm here. Nolani, which side are you on? Are you through the doorway? Yes, I, I am through with Monty and Tink. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Monty, Tink, you don't hear anything, but Nolani, the strange sending stone that Bernard gave you, picks up what the message. Uh, uh, it, and no, it's like when, when nobody knows whose phone is going off, and Nolani's <laughs> like, oh, I think it's coming from my bag. Um, And she looks through, and she pulls out a sending stone that Bernard gave her. What uh, the fuck? H hello uh, who who is this hello? how did you get this line <laughs> yeah <laughs> you get this number <laughs> who added you to this group chat <laughs> do i hear no lolly or is this just yuli over the sending stone it's just yuli what the fuck hmm. uh it's hello. it's no Alani. hello oh what um Sorry, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting. Um, are you using w w one of their stones? Is everybody okay over there? Um, we're okay. We're we're in some sort of field, but no, this is uh, this one came with the kit that Bernard gave me. He get he told me it picks up other signals or something. I didn't think it worked, honestly. Uh, but oh, uh, um, but we're okay. good. We should... Okay, we should talk about that later. Okay, well, we'll come through then, I guess. She'll look at Yenna. Where, you can hear- What? Where's Bernard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, where's, where's, where's Bernard? Bernard. <laughs> um, have we lost you? Where's this man? <laughs> Roll perception, those of you who are left on the other side of the uh, archway. Me and Yenna? Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> that I'm the one you're with right now. <laughs> Look, I'm, I have a plus zero to perception, so... Bro, these oh, new rolls no. today are such garb. <laughs> but I was gonna say you have... Oh, fuck off. You, you have inspiration, too, and it's, like, not even worth it. <laughs> it's not even in... Yeah, it's not even gonna help me, dude. Okay, I'm so sorry, DM, what'd you say? Bernard has disappeared. Do we see Bernard on our side? Roll perception. God. Mother. <sighs> that's an eight. Uh, I will attempt to roll two, if that's okay. Perception. That's a 21. <laughs> and Bernard has disappeared. Okay. Uh, he's not on this side. The Are you guys coming through? Yenna will just look at Yuli and it's like, I don't know why your rock's the only one working. But... I, I don't know either, and and it's not even it's not even connecting with 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 you or 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 with the it's it's going to that weird rock that Nolani had. What? Yeah, I, I, it's uh, we should here. Okay, we'll walk. They're, going they're to... fine, so we should walk through. We'll identify the whatever she has, and then we'll figure it out. When I find Bernard, I'm going to shake him until. <laughs> information comes out i will not <laughs> stop you <laughs> um uh, yeah i guess they'll walk through yeah. assuming <laughs> yana's down yeah at this point there are no other options yeah you feel the cold water wash over you an old magic clinging to the back of your throat 
and again you step out into that gently swaying field of wheat. Ah. Uh, well, this is pleasant by comparison. Nice, are yeah. They, are they with us, or are they somewhere else in a similar wheat field? Oh, no, they're with you. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey. Okay. Oh, no. T- Tink's just sitting there like, I am going to kill this fucker when I find him. <laughs> like, he's <laughs> just like, <laughs> muttering will in- shit about Berard. <laughs> Yuli will immediately go to Nolani and be like, hi, not to be like too intense or, or uh, wild right now. Can I can I see the stone that you were just using? Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. And she'll show it to you and to sort of offer it. Uh, um, it's a sending stone. That's that's what Bernard told her. I will tell I'm you. I'm going to cast identify on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you cast identify. It what is the... a sending stone. I get nothing else I'll, from it. I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you le- cast identify. It's a sending stone. I I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like modified in a weird way. L- looks at the camera. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. I think. Uh, Yuli, while like casting, um, would sort of say offhandedly to Tink, like this for some reason. This I don't know if it's been modified somehow, but I, I tried to contact you guys, and it it didn't seem to go through to any of our normal rocks, but it went to this one, and they're not even connected. Uh, so, so I would like to look at the stone. Okay. It's a stone. Yeah, I, but I, I would I'd like to look for like different modifications or something. As someone who, who makes things. Rolokana. <laughs> Motherfucker, I got nothing. It's a stone. It's a stone. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Tank's like, looks normal. I love it when you guys decide for yourself. <laughs> it was a one. It was a one. It's a stone. <laughs> I don't even know if it is a sending stone, really. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta believe you. It doesn't even look like it should work. It's just a rock. It's just, what? Well, it definitely works, but like, okay, <laughs> so do our sending stones work just in general, or do they not work anymore? Because that's terrifying. I I hate that. It, it uh, might have to do with, I mean, when they weren't working before, it, it was because we were all kind of like bouncing between different, uh, potentially different uh, uh, times and uh, universes. So, I mean, it's understandable that they weren't working then we don't even really know what sort of thing we're in right now. So it might just be sort well, of the space we're in, right? But then why does yeah. this work? I, yeah. I mean, I can understand also if like it wasn't working because we were separated. Theoretically, that should work like interplanarly. But like, we... Yana's just going to be like, I'll be right back. And she's going to toddle off far enough away that like if she speaks into her spending zone, people will hear her that not her voice Mm -hmm. yeah does the sending stone work if she's just like hello testing testing yeah (laughs) we're going back and forth (laughs) one two three (laughs) this is with the group sending stones yeah 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 you hear nothing oh except all of your voices come through nolani's sending stone what? Mm. Uh, hmm. Um, and Nolani sort of like looking at this because Yuli still has her sending stone. Um, but she's like, he also gave me a couple other things. I mean, now that it's just acting the weird. Which, by the way, where is he? Uh, anyway, and she'll oh, pull I thought, out. I he was over here. Oh, you said he wasn't over here. We we didn't oh. see him on our side. Huh. Weird. Um, uh, yeah, but he also gave me these two things, and she'll hold up. Uh, she has a gold bell, and he's and she's like, she's like, he said not to ring this unless someone is going to die, and she pointedly looks at Monty. So I hope I don't have to look use it for you. And uh, this uh, one, holy shit! <laughs> and then this one, I don't. It's just a light, and she'll turn it on. It's like a headband light, and it casts a green light. 
And she's like, this one, uh... he said it's good for supernatural hunting, but again, I wasn't sure if he was full of shit or not. Click and turns it off. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Can I do, like, just some kind of intelligence check to see if I know what that light is? The player knows what the light is. That's... so. Does Yenna know things? <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Just straight intelligence? Yep. Cool. <laughs> Fuck! Natural one. I'm no. Tired. Oh, Yenna, Yenna doesn't know things. I'm tired. Does Tink, does Tink know <laughs> I don't know why we're trying. I don't know why we're trying. Ugh, it's a 13. A 13 is definitely better than anything else that you guys have rolled. Seriously. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, no. There is... There is little that you can garner from it. <sighs> Alright. Okay, well, uh... You know, I'll wait till we get back to the school to talk to Bernard. <laughs> yeah, he has the look on his it. face that's like, I just want, I just want to talk. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> I just, I just want to talk. I just, just um, want to talk to him. Yeah. I need you all to roll. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> oh no! <it's> a... <laughs> no, it's a fifteen. Eight. There is a gentle rustle around you that isn't, it doesn't seem to be coming from the wind. And those of you who rolled above a five can hear it. I love that you've had to, uh... <laughs> Adjust accordingly. But oh, does yeah. that include the five or uh, start to get six? I really have to know. <laughs> Important information. Um, has this wind wind sound replaced the music, or is the music still playing in the background as well? The music is still playing, and while it's what you hear is like the strains of instruments, but roll perception. Another another one. Go go ahead. Roll, roll it again. Another one. I make I'll make you roll it again. <laughs> This for oh, everyone was... rolling? If you would like to, you can roll. That um, was a 14 again. <laughs> nice. Uh, 19. A soft, discordant whisper has started to chant around you. Hmm. Uh... Tank is preparing an attack. <laughs> um, can I? I'm going to um turn into a bird. I'm gonna become my, my ginger raven, and I'm gonna go investigate that. Go ahead. So. Well, that's a nat one on my investigation, but uh, I have a plus eight, so. That's a nine. With a nine, you can't quite see what's moving in the grass, but you can see that it's moving around you in a way towards the the farmhouse and the outbuildings. You gotta keep following it. I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna like dip close like fly down and like see if I can get a closer look at it. Well that was slightly better. That's a ten. With a ten you still can't make out the figures, but you see flashes of orange and green. Has anything come close enough to grab? Nothing has passed within two meters of you 
so okay. a good six foot away. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep trying to investigate. <laughs> if you would like to, any of you who are left, roll perception. I will say Yenna is probably going to hold an action to have like one of her like very pointy hair sticks out and uh be holding like a catapult spell on it. Uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Too much damage. <laughs> a yeah. lot of damage. Um if if we rolled super low, are we aware that something's happening right now? Or is it just based on the way that our companions are behaving? You can you can hear that there are things moving around you. Yeah. Okay. By um, now. I will say that that has become clear. Okay, Yuli will take out her knife for sure. Yeah. I've I rolled a uh twenty-four on my investigate. Monty, the creatures that you can see moving through the grass are strange indeed. You see trailing vines as arms and legs. Almost human, but not quite. Crowned upon their heads with wreaths of wheat woven into intricate braids. And in between them appear to be walking small star-shaped figures that glow in the night. Interesting. Wait. Nolani? Yeah. You start to realize that the chanting isn't just coming from around you. There is a voice crackling through your sending stone. Um... I'll sort of hold it closer to my ear um, to see if I can make out what it says. Over and over again, you hear the words, destroy a world, destroy a world. Destroy our or destroy a? Destroy A, and it's not you who can hear it. <laughs> I know, but I'm just asking for my notes. That's a good question. That was a good question for, for, for... Um, okay. Um, I think Nolani does that, like, horror movie, like, slow-mo putting it away. It's like, uh... It, uh it's, it's picking something else up. It, it says destroy a world. Um, and I imagine probably, like... She says this loud enough that Tink, Yuli, and Yana can hear it. This, this. Oh, um. Okay. Uh, that's uh disconcerting. Yeah, I'd say. Um. um. Uh. Fight or run? What are we doing? I mean, where are we running? I don't uh, know. Probably to the music. I mean, Monty and I sort of heard that music come through, so maybe there's somebody else here that can explain what's going on? The words are now clear to all of you, and they've changed just slightly. It just says over and over, the bird flies. Clear to all of us? Like the bird? Yep. <laughs> The bird who's flying. <laughs> no, only those of you who are close to the who are close the to the the stone. Yeah. D uh, Tink's gonna message Monty. I'd be like, "Come back, come back, get back here." And I'm going to, uh, for once in my life, listen to Tink. And uh... <laughs> a good choice. <laughs> Excellent. Fly back and um, transform back into my normal form. What? I I mean, I was just just getting close to to those creatures, and um, why'd you so call me back? Are there and they're still shuffling around us? Roll perception. Ugh. And it was heading towards the music as well, right? Like, mm -hmm, everything was mm -hmm. heading towards the music. It was. Directly. Everything's been heading towards the music, yeah. A 13. 
I also rolled a perception because I figured I would be looking out for things as I'm flying back. And my perception, click on the correct thing. Um, yeah, so I got a 15. I think you notice that the shuffling around you seems to have stopped, the last of it scuttling away into the distance. Monty, you notice, and you you noticed it flying back too, that there is something quite large moving in the distance. There, there was just some chanting, and it was talking about a bird, and you were a bird, and at the, the last time that there was a bunch of chanting, I got stabbed. So I'm just, like, not super comfortable with how this is all going right now. Do, do you all see that? And Monty points towards the, the shape of the thing lumbering in the distance. Do we all see it? You all see it. It's still so far away that it is a shadow upon the horizon, but it consists of many legs uh -oh. as it heads towards you and appears to have two heads. And it lumbers through the corn, through the wheat, through the fields. And as it gets closer and closer, you realize that it appears to be a starving dog, oh. about 20 feet high. Oh. And its hide what? is striped, like a hyena's would be. Oh. How tall is tall? About 20 feet high. 20 feet? 20 feet? 20 feet? Yep. Um... Yep. Once the figure comes into view, as you describe uh, it, can Nolani look it up on the book? You can indeed. Okay. Can I roll for that or just kind of like... Yeah, yeah, no. Roll an intelligence to see if you can find a reference. Oh. I remember those bat rolls we were talking about? Yeah. <laughs> three? Yep. That's three. three. You can't seem to find a ref well, you can't seem to find a reference to this particular dog, but you find references to seven other dogs. <sighs> Why wouldn't you make a better appendix? <laughs> This is Bernard you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Monty, can you talk to that thing? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll try. Uh, As you say I... that, an echoing voice, deep and rolling and rough, comes from the dog itself as it walks, and the words that it says have almost a melodic quality. The bird lays the egg, the egg fractures, the bird is born, the bird flies, the bird flies towards God, and the God is good and the God is bad, but the God is ours, and it's still walking towards you, to the point where now it's only about ten feet away. Does it seem like it's noticed us? Roll insight. <laughs> what an ask of my boy. Yeah, no. No. I I rolled insight too, and I got a 28. Thank God. Monty, no. with a 28, this creature has not noticed you at all. In fact, as you watch it, it goes to try and step over you. With the kind of carelessness of something that just does not know that you are there. Um... So it's trying to step over us. Uh, I am going to like try and push my push whoever is closest to me out of the way of of the uh, the steps of the big dog. Um, As you do, it keeps talking, and it it says, "The darkness rises, 
as the twilight falls and the bird sings of his coming. And it walks steadily past you all towards um, the farmhouse and the outbuildings. Can I do a history check to see if like though of that any part of that song rings familiar? Go ahead, roll history. At a sixteen. It takes you a moment, but something about the bird as a central character niggles at the back of your mind. And the longer you think on it, the more you realize that this is a song you have heard before. Towards the harvest around the lands that your family is supposed to care for. Those who would tend the fields of their farms at that time of year would sing a song similar to this. You never knew why, and you never heard the words clearly, but you remember the bird as a central character, and you remember something about it rising and singing and falling. Um, I would like to go... So knowing that, now, now knowing that this is like from my region of, of the country, uh, I'm going to uh, pass this information along to the rest of my com companions and um, uh, start to move towards the the farmhouse following the giant dog because I want to see if the farmhouse is, is like the architecture in my in my part of the country. Okay. Yeah. Not that I particularly know the architecture of my part of the country because I was like locked up indoors, but yeah. You're going to tell the others that you're heading that way as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I think I like as we look around, it is basically like I would say, I assume like an empty horizon, and then this farmhouse. Kind of the thing. farmhouse is genuinely the only building, other than its outhouses, that you can see for miles. You can't see any other buildings. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, Monty recounting the poem and the fact that it's familiar, and it's, it's one of... We're just in one of those situations where we just kind of have to say, yeah, let's let's go. Yeah, <laughs> and I yeah, and I think like... Tink is gonna start walking towards the house as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the things that we were hearing are they walking also like just in that way? Like they weren't actually coming to us; they were just we're just in the path of a procession sort of situation. Or from what you can gather, yes, they kind of walked around you and headed in one direction, and you okay. hadn't seen any of them, which mm -hmm. is why you'd felt surrounded for a moment, but. All of that shuffling and rustling has headed in one sole direction. All right. Yeah. Um, then should probably keep the thing out just in case, but won't won't have like gone out of your way to attack anything. Okay. Heavily defensive. Uh, are, are we you... walking normally, or are we going to creep, guys? I was going to say, are you guys going to be stealthily walking towards the the farmhouse, or are you just going for it? I'm um, stealthy. I'll try, but my boy's yeah, not like, that cautiously. stealthy. Yeah, like, cautiously. Yeah. Exactly. Not necessarily stealth, but caution. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll roll stealth, but, like, who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, it's a solid ten. Only pass without a trace. <laughs> oh, I had 18. I had a 9. Fuck! Fuck off! 
Fuck off. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dudes. I do not. What is happening today? This guy needs to go to jail. Yeah. I'm mailing you new dice. <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh my god. That's a rogue. rogue. I'm a rogue. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Nolani, Monty, you make it quite far before you hear the group behind you making all of the rustling noises that they can possibly make. To be completely <laughs> fair and honest, it is difficult to move stealthily in a field of wheat. Yeah. Like, rustling is just going to happen. But as Nolani and Monty manage to time their steps with the, the rustling of the wind, um, you all stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine Tink is also like... <laughs> like a little visible over like the cord stocks and stuff as well he's maybe not like crouched down enough <laughs> <laughs> and as you move <laughs> you see that the the wheat around you starts to rustle all the more the more sound you make the more it rustles and something darts out of the tall wheat towards you. And you see a small cat oh. dressed in a fancy gown running in the direction that everything else has been moving. And still the large dog, the large looming figure is heading towards the farm but this small cat is running and looks at you with imploring eyes lit up by the half light and says you must make it to the barn be quick be quick you must make it to the barn the eggs are hatching and it's going to run straight into the wheat in front of you Hi, and from behind you here. <laughs> more creatures in fancy clothes <laughs> are running towards the farmhouse. This would be so cute if it wasn't here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm so upset. Uh, all right. All I mean, right, well, let's, let's go to the barn, the I guess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I hate. I know that's where we have to go, but like, Yenna would absolutely be like, I don't want to see anything hatching right now. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Monty's just like, wait, ever, other people can hear animals talking to them? <laughs> yeah. when the druid is like wait you're in my world now <laughs> what's going on here honestly honestly i think like curiosity is starting to get the better of tank he's like okay but like what what's going on <laughs> like this yeah no joke his his self-preservation is not stronger than his just <laughs> curiosity <laughs> as the cord as you head towards the barn and towards the lumbering dog Monty, you start to look at the architecture, look at the outbuildings. I would like you to roll history. Yep, yeah, baby. That's a 19. With a 19, you recognize the turn of how the beams on the outer barns are built how the houses fit together, how the roofs come to their arches. This is elven architecture, but it is not the same kind of architecture that was familiar about your home and your province, but rather the kind of elven architecture that you've only seen in history books, the kind that died out 2000 years ago by now. And the closer you get, the more you hear the chanting songs of these small animals, of the giant dog, of the moving vines and plants, all singing the same tune about the eggs hatching and the bird flying to the sky and finding God and bringing with it the twilight and the darkness. Does this feel familiar to me at all 
Go ahead and roll history. You're just throwing out a bunch of de de <laughs> elf buzzwords, and I'm sitting here like, all right. I actually rolled a good roll for once. Uh, so that's hey. a 22. With a 22, it's kind of familiar to you, but not in the same way that it is for Monty. You've seen examples of this sort of architecture on the gold petal grounds. Um, in fact, the very... Uh, the, there's a there's a section of housing on the gold petal estates that is about four thousand years old, and it's very similar to the way that this farmhouse is constructed. Okay. And the the rhyme doesn't seem to to ring any bells, but the rhyme does not ring any bells for you, no. Yeah. The closer you all get to the farm, you start to see that it's laid out as though it's a festival or a fete. There are tiny fairy lights hung out, and lanterns, and candles strewn about. There's a large bonfire in the centre of the courtyard, and around it you see vines and people made of stars and small animals in fancy dresses are all starting to dance around it joining in the song as the large towering dog walks circles around the farm okay i would like you all to roll perception Peepers, creepers. Tink's just walking around like this is this is weird. <laughs> like maybe not as weird as it, or like maybe it should be weirder, but like it's still weird. Natural yeah, twenty. Bless. Oh my god, bless. Finally, <laughs> here come the good rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Rubs fingers together. <laughs> Yana. Mm hmm. Monty. Yes. You see the shape of a figure in the fire. Rising taller and taller. And as the, fl as the flames die down, you realize that this figure has long blonde hair and stands quite tall. and has a face far too familiar. Soot strewn down their cheeks. And the suit that they're wearing singed and still smoking. You see Abraxas. And that is where we're going to leave it for the night. You're terrible. Oh, <laughs> awful. Uh. Yana's the one that sees that man? Oh no! Yana, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh! Thank you all so much for joining us for this special session of Hellions. We will be back next week with the, the continuation of this special Halloween episode. Um, I hope that you continue to join us there. If you like what you have watched this evening please consider giving us a follow maybe even a subscribe if you would like to support us we also have a patreon that you can check out if you would like to discuss any series or bring anything to our attention and uh, we would like to thank our patrons for making this all possible i would Do we get okay? remind you all <laughs> Woo! that this is the spooky week and we are bookending it, so we will be back next Monday when Spooky Weekends. But in the meantime, you can watch multiple other one-shots by other wonderful DMs who are doing spooktacular spookums and uh, have a lot of fun. We've got uh, posts on our Discord and on Twitter at the moment that will give you like an outline of the kind of shows that we're doing. They are all going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited for so many of them. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah thank you so much to our patrons thank you all so much for watching and joining us tonight and we will see you guys next week same D&D &D time same D&D &D channel keep rolling bye bye, bye guys bye. Bye. Bye.